Hi guys, Chris here and you're watching Here We Are Running and we're back today with another shoe review. It is of this. It's the New Balance Fresh Foam X Vongo V5, a max cushion stability running shoe from New Balance that I've now run about 80 kilometers or 50 miles in and happy to share my thoughts with you here on the channel today. For anybody that's new to the channel, just to let you know that I do run in stability running shoes and that's because I overpronate. So I'm always on the lookout for some new stability shoes to try out, share my thoughts with, and if I'm happy with them, I'll add them into my running shoe rotation. And because this is a stability running shoe, let's start the review by looking at what the stability features are of it. The main stability feature you're gonna find in the midsole foam on the medial side of the shoe. They've used a higher density of midsole foam on this medial side to try and limit the amount that your foot will roll in when you're landing. And they've done that using kind of little pellets within the midsole foam. And those pellets get more dense as you get nearer to the edge of the medial side. It's also got a pretty solid heel counter in here. It's all an internal heel counter going around the heel of the foot. That's just gonna contain some more support for you. And the other thing I've noticed is that there is a bit of structure on the upper around this area here. Uh, again, helping to keep your foot supported when you're running in the shoe. Let's just try the twist test. Gosh, that, there is not a lot of twist in that shoe at all. You can see from that, I'm coming to quite force it to get any twist out of that, which is a good thing. That's what you want to see on a stability running shoe. Moving on to looking at the upper. Now, when I looked at this shoe, I thought, there's n I did have some concerns that it might not be a very breathable shoe because if you look at it, there isn't a lot of sort of perforations there to let in the air in the upper. But even though there's only this kind of area here at the front, Actually, I didn't have any problems with breathability in the shoe at all, which, which did actually surprise me, to be honest. But I've run in it on some warm conditions and my foot did not get noticeably hot or anything like that at all. So in terms of breathability, even though it's quite a small area of perforations letting in that air, still found it a fairly breathable shoe. The upper itself is called Hypo Knit. And as I say, it's, it's kind of got a thinner material around here and then as you go more to the midfoot area here, you've got that thicker material offering some structure to it. And then obviously going round, you've got the internal heel canter around here. Um, around the ankle area, fairly plush in there. Uh, certainly I found that a comfortable part of the shoe when I was running in it. The tongue is not gusseted. Uh, that's just loose in there, but I didn't have any problems with it slipping around or being where it shouldn't be, it seemed fine. And uh, yeah, just sort of normal type of laces in here, nothing kind of unusual or different with those. Moving on and taking a look at the outsole now on the shoe, and you can sort of see the pattern that they've used here. Uh, a reasonable amount of rubber on this shoe, you can see it around the heel area, but also in kind of the rest of the shoe really. The only bit of exposed midsole foam is this bit down the middle towards the uh, rear half of the shoe. Uh, but yeah, I had no problems with grip at all. Found this quite a nice grippy shoe. And I think because of that amount of rubber, you can see there's no real wear to it at the moment. Because of that amount of rubber it's got on here, I'm expecting it to be a reasonably durable shoe. We'll see as time goes by. But so far at the moment, there's just, just no signs of any wear to it at all. I went true to size in this, UK size 11 for me, but when I bought it, I bought the normal width version initially, and I just wasn't completely happy with it. And I've had this problem before with New Balance, where I've had to opt for the wider version. So I bought the normal width version, wasn't completely comfortable with it, so I then ordered the wide version to compare the two, and I ended up sticking with the wider version. I was much more comfortable with the wider version of this shoe than I was with the normal width version. I don't know what it is with New Balance uh, and maybe the shape of my foot, but I just seem to, on occasion, suit the wider version of their shoes than I do the normal width version. Doesn't necessarily mean that's gonna be the same for you, but just something that I've certainly experienced, and this isn't the first time I've experienced that in a New Balance shoe. But in terms of this wider version of the uh, Vongo V5, 
Um, in terms of its fit, it, it's, it's perfect for me. It's, it's locking down well. I'm not finding any problems with fit, no rubbing or anything like that. But as I say, I just felt more comfortable getting the wider version than the normal fit version. Now stability running shoes often do weigh a little bit more and this is obviously a max cushion stability running shoe so you're not expecting this to be really really light or anything. Uh, it weighs in a UK size 11 331 grams or 11 and 3 quarter ounces which I would say is about right for this type of shoe. Uh, comparing it with some of my other stability running shoes this weighs less than the Keanu 28 and it's pretty much maybe a slightly bit more than the uh, Brooks Adrenaline GTS, what are they, 21. If you wanted to buy this shoe, then you'd find that it retails for £140, 150 US dollars, or 170 euros. Now that's certainly not inexpensive, but it is around what other brands are charging for their max stability running shoes. So what do I think about this shoe, having run in it now for about a month uh, on various different lengths of run, up to about half marathon distance on the longest run I've done in it so far, and overall 50 miles, 80 kilometers. First thing I'm gonna say is I, I love the colorway. Um, now I know that's obviously a personal thing but uh, yeah I really love the colorway and it's, it's very different to all my other shoes this colorway so I always like that don't like to have lots of shoes all looking the same uh, so yeah love the colorway also love the comfort that you get particularly as you up the distance in the shoe never experienced this fresh foam midsole before uh, they say that this shoe is very similar to the New Balance 1080 v11 so this kind of being the stability version of of that shoe which is obviously a neutral running shoe uh, i've never tried that shoe obviously but it does seem a very comfortable shoe to run in and and it's also a stable shoe i'm feeling i'm getting the stability that i need what they've done with the stability here seems a very sort of subtle way of adding the stability it's you know you're not getting a sort of big kind of plastic section here or anything it's that higher density midsole foam which again i i like what they've done there and yeah certainly finding it a stable and comfortable ride when i'm running in it and my feet are not tiring as that distance is increasing which i is a good judge i think of a good stability running shoe so how am I going to use this shoe going forward? And am I going to use this shoe going forward? Yeah, I'm definitely going to use this shoe going forward. It's going to become the third kind of everyday running shoe, uh, long run shoe that I have in my running shoe rotation. It's, it'll be the third of the kind of max cushion stability shoes that I run in. And I was looking for a third to add to the rotation. I, I like to rotate my shoes so I'm not running in the same shoe every day. Feel that offers a lot in terms of preventing injury, uh, just keeping your, your, your feet uh, fresher. Yeah, so it's gonna be that third shoe in the rotation for those types of runs, the everyday type of runs and also the long runs. Guys, if you already own the New Balance Bongo V5, Really interested to know what your thoughts are about it and I'm sure everyone else will be who is watching this video. So drop a comment below if you already own this shoe. Uh, also drop a comment if you're thinking of perhaps going for this shoe. But uh, yeah, if you already own it, drop a comment below with your thoughts. Always really interested to hear that. Uh, guys, I hope you found this review useful. As always, if you have, then it really helps if you press that thumbs up button to give the video a like. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you've seen here, then why not consider subscribing for regular running content? But for now, guys, goodbye.